Hey guys, Steve here. Today is t uh, Wednesday, November 30th, 2016. Last day of November. And we're heading into December with only 25 days left to Christmas. So, hope, uh, I haven't done any shopping, so I don't know about you guys. Um, so I guess you didn't think you would hear from me a third time this week, and you'll probably hear from me one more time this week. Um, just a real quick video. Um, I found a few new things that I want to share with you and get out there so that you can see it and uh, we're gonna open them up so uh, let's get started um, one of the things that is starting to hit target now so take a look is the new car culture set um, they are the Hot Wheels red liners and I picked these up at Target um, and they're just now hitting all targets pretty much so um, and I think they've been getting more than um, one case so that's a good thing too so I'm going to go ahead and show you, uh, share with you the set, and I'm going to open them up. So five cars again on the Car Culture Series. We have the 68 Mercury Cougar. This is car number one. Uh, the cars are pretty cool. I like them. And uh, five car set. So we'll go ahead and open this one up. Uh, it's a nice car. Pretty basic. Nothing really fancy. Uh, don't know about the color. It's okay. But... Uh, Looks good with the real riders, of course. Metal base, metal body, as always. Uh, black interior. Um, overall, not too bad of a car. Good selection. Actually, it does look pretty good with those real riders. Okay. Uh, number two is uh, this is a real nice one. This is the '70 Dodge Charger RT. Red, white, and blue. Uh, this is the number two car. This one up. So this is also kind of hard to tell, but they are real riders. They are slicks, so no treads on them. And uh, metal base, metal body, of course, at the front there. Very cool deco. Uh, let's see on the top. It says. Do, 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 urban, oh, it's an Urban Outlaw. So there you go. Okay. Alright, that's number two. Number three. Uh, probably one that a lot of people will want to grab is the 68 Copo Camaro. In blue. I haven't seen these, uh, man, I haven't seen these uh, rims in a while. Maybe remind me a lot of the ones they use in the uh, Boulevard series. Got some white tampos on the front. Got the hood pins there. Black interior. Okay, that's pretty much it. Pretty clean. I like it. Got the Camaro logo on the side there. Okay. Uh. Number four, one probably everyone's going to be wanting to grab extras of. Of course, this is the 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. And looks like, I'd have to compare it, but it looks like it's the same rims and tires as the Super Treasure Hunt 55 Gasser. Uh, this is the only one that had a really pretty rough looking card that came out of the box like that. So... Um, I really like the deco on this one. Bad gasser. Um, got a very Tron Transformer-ish tampo there. Chrome interior. So, another nice one there. Okay. And then the last one, number five, is the 69 Corvette Racer. Uh, not a big fan of this uh, this casting. Um, I like it with the yellow tires, the yellow rims, but I wish the yellow on the rims was matched a little bit closer to the actual car. Um, so I feel in this one and maybe the Mercury might be the the, the two of the uh, least favorites of people's. Um, it's kind of cool though, and it is pretty. The wheel gap on the back tires there, as you can see, is pretty tight. So if you push down too too hard, it doesn't roll very well. 
but so light pressure on it and it does roll. But there you go. Okay, so that is the latest and greatest car culture, Hot Wheels Redliners. Okay. All right, the next thing I want to share with you, I picked up, uh, these I think have been out for a couple weeks now, but first time I found them, this is the new Hot Wheels Exotics 5-pack. There you go. And so we have the following, although somebody told me the Porsche on this is, is an error. Uh, it says Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Um, but, let's open this up. It is not a... T3RS. Um, so we got. Uh, oh, it is. So my buddy was wrong. It is a 911 GT3 RS. Huh. I have to find out what he meant by that. So we got a Porsche 911 GT3 RS. We have Alfa Romeo 8C, a Pagani, a Porsche Panamera, and a Lamborghini Aventador LP704. So. Start off with the first one, um, of course the Porsche, I always like my Porsches, so that'll go, uh, this is a recolor of the red one that came out earlier this year, or probably a couple months. Uh, it is, at first I thought it was flat white, but it actually is a semi-flat glossy white. I like the wing on that. Okay. Uh, the next one is, of course, the Alfa Romeo 8C. Probably my least favorite of this one. That one's actually going to a buddy of mine. Not too bad. I like the color, though. And the, and the single black stri uh, stripe down the middle. Pagani. I like the color on this one. This one turned out pretty nice. There's the roof. Okay. Porsche Panamera. Again, one of those love or hate type castings. Um, at first, I wasn't a big fan of the Panamera, but I actually do like it. It looks a lot neater and cooler in real life if you ever see one. Um, particularly if you see like the Panamera GT Turbo. And then the fifth car is, of course, the Lambo Aventador. Aventador is one of my favorite Lambos, as far as the newer ones. It's wide, it's low, and it just freaking look fat, looks fast. Gray interior on this one. Okay. So that is the latest and greatest Hot Wheels uh, Exotics 5-packs. Okay. All right. Uh, so the last thing I want to share with you is I did show you that I got this last in my last video. Um, card is kind of bent, so I'm going to open this one up. This is, of course, the Redline Club uh, Neo Classics Volkswagen D uh, Drag Bus. And this one is uh, their 7500 Limited, and this is number 4613. I only ended up getting one from the RLC um, just to get my sub plan with the RLC, um, but uh, it's got some bends on the corner, so I'm going to go ahead and open up, and it'll go in the case. Uh, I use the this kind of flat blade. I love this thing uh, when I open up certain cars um, where I want to keep the card, or like the card or the card art. And you can just trim around just like this as kind of like a flay um, position. And I can just um, trim around the blister. And that way it leaves the card intact. And then we have the drag bus. It is kind of a cool piece. Um, and of course it opens up just like any other drag, drag bus. And very heavy. And it rolls pretty, pretty smoothly. I'd like to take this down the track. <laughs> so let's show this to you guys. 
I think the drag bus is also a love or hate. A lot of people, I mean, it's a very obviously a very popular casting. Um, a lot of people do a lot of customs with them. Um, I like it. It's not my favorite. I mean, if I had to pick between a drag bus and, of course, I don't know, a blown delivery, I'd probably pick the blown de delivery. Um, so, it is, pro it is preference, and uh, I think it's a cool car. I like the color. The color on this, I don't know if you can tell, it is, of course, the yellow flame, but it's a very deep purple there. So, all right. Well, there you have it. Uh, quick video. Um, we will talk to you soon. Uh, club meet this weekend, and hopefully we'll be able to share some more stuff with you. Until then, happy hunting, and we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.